I feel so refreshed. I had an early sleep yesterday. Also because I woke up really early. And if you've been following me just for just a few weeks now of creating this channel, I tell you about how anxious I get about the next day going to events, yard sales, garage sales, dates, um, just any type, big or small. I get so anxious and it's hard for me to sleep. And yesterday I was wanting to crash out by six, but I kept trying to make the video go through yesterday's vlog and I'm glad it actually worked out. For some reason it was just stuck in limbo saying it was updating and I tried several times and finally the last try just went whoosh, within three minutes. Everything was good, ready to go. So, so far so good. I really like that yesterday worked out of putting out a video, not as early as I was wanted to, but that's all part of you trying to keep up with your goals. And I wanna have daily vlogs and I don't wanna have any days off. My friend Mikey bags of money. Let me grab some stuff inside here first. Do I want, I'm not even hungry. <laughs> Why did I open up the fridge? Mikey bags of money started creating YouTube lives, going live every Friday. He did it for like a whole year straight. I think maybe missed one day. That's pretty impressive. Every Friday of the year, but one day. And then continue to do it the following year. That is pretty amazing and inspirational for me. Where there's a will, there is a way. And right now, my way is making it back over here after I get my... That was That's what I was going to get. It's not that I was hungry. It's that I wanted some... Shibone. Wanted some of that and a little bit of heavy cream. Just a little bit. Who doesn't like a cute cup of joe? Seriously, it's a cute cup. So good. Today's going to be a good day. I got to show you something else that looks really good that I'm looking at right now. After recording yesterday, the yard guy showed up. He showed up late, but it's all right because... That looks amazing. Ooh, it's a nice brisk morning. So they don't look all that great because they're trimmed, but um, I think this looks amazing. And the palm tree just looks happier and healthier without having all that sag. This side tends to grow a little slower, just a little slower. But these uh, lavender flowers here, these actually blossom much more than those over there and they used to be all across but they started slowly dying from that end to that end they're gonna be looking really nice really soon let's go back inside it's a it's a little chilly out here and i could use some more of that some more of that tasty coffee such good coffee so i got some listing podcast editing drifting video editing um, add more things to knickknacks, which are just going to be, I decided to add the hummingbirds in there since they're, they are floral and it's a floral theme. Um, although you can make it your own interpretation is it's what you make of it. Easter, Easter to me, I think of eggs and bunnies. Mm -hmm. Other people might think first of uh, flowers and peeps, <laughs> the candies. I grabbed one of the little birdies that I got from the flea market. I'm going to put this on knickknacks right now with those hummingbirds. I don't know if I mentioned that yesterday. Those two hummingbirds will be in the auction today. The theme is like uh, floral, Easter floral, something like that. At least it gives me like spring vibes. So I'm going to add this and a few other things. I got our podcast finally edited. I just need to put it up on YouTube for tomorrow. Editing for this one went a lot better than the other four previous ones that I've had. Uh, audio is an issue with us and we're trying to figure it out. And what I don't need to figure out right now is pretty easy. Taking photos of the hummingbirds from yesterday, a couple of other pieces, one like this one, little glass since there are hummingbirds. I'll add this little beautiful piece, this nice cobalt blue glass bird figurine for today's auction. I told my wife about it already and I'm pretty sure in about an hour she's going to wake up. I think we want to, or she want to sleep more around one or two um i want to sleep earlier than that but woke up at one because i slept downstairs and then we walked back upstairs brush it the teeth this and then <sighs> knock back out <laughs> so that was uh i feel really good i feel energized i haven't even finished all of my coffee oh you just ever had those good stretches 
Oh, that was a good stretch. Let me share with you my glass cabinet. Uh, there are some things that are in glass in here, like jade or things like it. Some natural stones, some nice acrylic, palatinic. This one's very cool. The Gibson dog. Those are very cool. Little fencing froggy right there. That one I think I've showed y'all before. If not, it was in my thrifting video. And then this Kruger. This one is nice. I need to get this one listed. But I decided to put all of my flowers in there. But those one just a little too long. So it's on the edge and it is safe. I'll be moving it in a moment. Oh, I have another one up here. Some nice flowers that I've been collecting. This this glass is adding up, folks. I need to start selling this. And you haven't even seen the other shelf. That one. There's one behind it. <laughs> You're crazy. While the video's actually loading up now, I finished it editing it. And I was like, wait, I got to put it on YouTube and get it set for tomorrow. So I have the daily channel, my main channel, which I haven't given any love to. Not that I'm ignoring it. Just that I ended up having my external hard drive crapped on me. I had to reset it and it got rid of everything. I couldn't get into it anyways when before I reset it. It was just locking me out. So I ended up losing footage from a pretty sweet thrift video at the flea market. And I was going to go today, but I got this stuff to go on and then the auction later on. So I wasn't going to stretch myself out too thin. When I say I have a lot of hats, I always like to include that I have many blank hats. And I was wanting to start making hats and t-shirts, which I am. Um, but right now I am sorting through all of this and getting organized rather than saying, I'll hold it here and I'll get back to it tomorrow. Then tomorrow comes and I'm like, Ugh, tomorrow. <laughs> so now it's like, okay, I could do it tomorrow, but I still need to be organized. So I got a lot of vintage and modern type of foam hats like this. This is just some of them. Not even like a quarter of what I have in the garage, which is all going to be taken to the storage unit tomorrow. Um, yeah, tomorrow. These I probably had the longest. These are painter's hats. And these are some pretty cool ones. I got this on offer up with a whole bunch of other hats. Probably around 120 hats for around $60, I think. Um, and I made a few hats of my own. These are some better quality condition, better quality condition hats than some of the real flimsy, flimsy ones. And I need to make some hats. I've only made one or two of them, one for myself and one that I gave away. People have been asking for them, mm -hmm. saying they want to buy them. And then I just never got around to it. Isn't that crazy? Because that's the whole point of wanting to do this, is to make them, sell them, advertise yourself. And then you get that out there to where people are like, yeah, I'll buy it. And you're like, all right. And you don't do it. That's me. I'm freaking horrible. But I have quite a bit of colors. Uh, sometimes I just get some crazy colors. And some hats are pretty unique. But again, all of these are blank. I got all of these for like less than a dollar. These foam ones at this grocery store, which is now no longer open. When I came across these by accident, just so happened to be that I went to the Boss Reseller Remix the first time about two years ago. I had an order on the first day of the event while I was there. So I packed it up and told myself I'd bring it back the following day. It was a three day event and I'd figure out if there's a post office there. When I went and found the post office location on Yelp, it happened to be a grocery store and the post office when it was in it inside there, it was a very unique, convenient grocery store slash post office. So I said, you know what? I came across, I came across all of these hats plus around 200 more the first bundle that i got was for around 25 dollars. got over like 50 of them and the owner was there and said why are you buying so much hats i said i like these style hats and i'll try to come back and get some more so i ended up going back a few months later and ended up buying around 200 more for around i think 70 dollars um and then i tried to go back to buy some more and the grocery store closed. That whole place is closed. It doesn't even exist anymore. So I was lucky to find it by accident and come across these hats. The last ones they had were some different ones right here. But this one right here, just this one, I love this one. It's just so retro, so old school. Um, orange one, green one, 
red one, but these right here are like a really unique material. I do like, it almost looked like the ripstop material. I doubt that it is, but these are some pretty neon bright colors right here, which would be good for this time of the year, especially into uh, summer and the warmer seasons, hotter seasons. So I think these would be really cool. They're also lightweight. They do have the cardboard backings. They're all brand new. And again, these are just some of the hats that I have. I have so, so much more. And I'm giving myself next week, or maybe even this week, to start making some hats of my own. I only want to have a few hats of the same color out at a time and not make so much hats that they just sit there. Here's the pole I've been talking about that I have yet to set up, but we are. We're going to do this soon. All right, but down here, folks, I do have some things that I have sitting around that I, I need to look more into. And this one, I remember, this is Jack. Uh, is that a terrier? And it should be something kennels. Kitty's kennel. Kitty's kennel right here. This one right here is a nice weight and feel. I believe it's ceramic. Beautiful piece. They go for around $25 to $35. Pretty good one. I've been having this here for about a year now. This one I got at the flea market. I found that these type of stones don't do very well. But when I get them for like a buck I too, for a buck or two, I have to get it. I just like getting stuff, even if it's not for reselling or doesn't do great for reselling. I just like getting it. But then you have stuff like this, this kind of stuff. It amazes me. Just the artwork, the way the stone is. I forget the name. I think the person is out in Canada. And this is a pretty unique piece right here. Look at that. It must have been a, a hunter. That's a baby seal that I carried or saving. Who knows? A lot of people do good, but it brings to question what's going on here. Look at that little crack there too. <laughs> oh, but I'm going to take these inside. I'm going to take these over to my office. I had to look more into this one. I just find these fascinating and I hold on to them because I'm intrigued by the artistry of these. Facial expressions, these are really nice. And then just a subtle curvature because of the face having a little sharper details, just a little. And then everything else around it is just like, wow, that is amazing. So it is made by Abbott. There was one on Etsy. Uh, I believe they're out in Canada, which where Abbott, who created this, is from out in Canada. But this is of an Inuit Eskimo. And the person out in Canada has this listed for around $60 Canadian, Canadian, Canadian doll hairs. And I think you, I think that goes over to USD around $50. I'm not sure if their currency fluctuates. I know in Korea, uh, to throw this just complete opposite sides of the world somewhat. In Korea, I would only go shopping and even buy food at certain times because they had this digital reader at the far end of every corner of either the restaurant or the shopping, uh, I guess, outlets. And we would wait for it to go down. <laughs> we would always say like, how much is for this jacket? And it'd be like $50. And they'll look at the ticker, right? Which they could have made up any price. And then all of a sudden we'll look at this ticker and it would drop and we're like, all right, 25 bucks. Like right now we'll buy it. And they're like, all right, <laughs> I don't. Oh man, some experiences that I've had in this world has just been so funny to relive and share. And I'm glad I don't forget about some stuff. Although I do forget a lot about a lot of things, but some memories are just so embedded. They just have a little dust, you know, and you just give a little and it uncovers and you're like, bam, all these memories and times that you've had that I used to dread about in my life. I used to be like, man, I, this world sucks. I hate it. I don't want to be here. I just don't. And now I'm I'm alive, feeling everything and enjoying it. Complete opposite worlds of what I used to put myself in mentally. Um, mental, mental issues is tough. It, when people say, now to get so deep and everything, when people say, I'll never do that or do things to themselves like others have, it's probably because you've never felt that hurt like other people have. Again, that's an opinion. That isn't my opinion. But sometimes things hurt so much, you just want to stop hurting. And I can relate to that. I just am glad that that's no longer the way I think. But I am happy to be sharing moments like that because we can all have 
a bad time. But unless we work on ourselves, we're not. And it's it's a lot easier than what people think. They just have to bring in and take in a new practice in their life of how they want to be, how they want to react, even if they get pissed off, even if they're not wrong, even if it's somebody else is wrong and completely wrong, you still have the control to react how you want and take care of yourself. It's very important that you know that. I had an amazing, amazing day. Fast forward from the last clip to now, different attire, you could tell. I ended up going to the gym, did about an hour in cardio. Carla had a good, really good workout. We ended up having um, some chips and dip for dinner. And then we had to rush home because of the auction today, which went amazing. I'm going to tell you more about it tomorrow of how many items sold and how much stuff I have left. If you were able to see it yourself, you know how great it was. And to have stuff still left over for another time, even more amazing. Really good. That's all I'm going to say. And tomorrow I'll show you and tell you more about it. We're also going to make some lumpia, Carla and I, tomorrow. So we have to go to the grocery store before the store closes, it is now 9.02 and we probably closes that it probably closes at 10. So I am on my way. So folks, I'll see y'all, y'all see me again tomorrow. Thank you all for your support and following me along in all that I do.